Hello again, everyone. You're watching Cruise Away, your first port of call for incredible cruise holiday deals every day here on Gecko. I'm Derek and this is Joe. Hello. And over the next 30 minutes, we'll be taking you on fabulous far flung adventures to Europe and beyond. Now, we've got three cruise and stay packages coming your way that all depart this spring. So, if you're looking to get something in your holiday diary for this year, then you've certainly tuned into the right channel. And if you've yet to take your first cruise, then let's kick off by explaining what great value a holiday at sea can be. When you choose to cruise, you'll experience one of the best value holidays with so much included as standard. Your floating resort will take you to multiple destinations in one trip, where you'll wake up to a new view every day and only have to unpack once. Your ensuite accommodation will have everything you need to feel right at home with a daily service provided by your personal cabin steward. Around the ship, you'll have the opportunity to take part in various activities, which can include quizzes, dance classes, game shows, movie screenings, lectures and much more. If that sounds too much, then feel free to relax, unwind and watch the world go by in a solarium or around one of the pools or even in a hot tub. If you're cruising with a family, then the little ones will be well taken care of with a range of kids clubs available for all ages from morning till late. Plus, no matter the age, everyone can have a thrilling time with rock climbing walls, zip lines, water parks, skating, simulators and even bumper cars. When it comes to food, you'll never go hungry on a cruise, with options available right around the clock. Enjoy fine dining with waiter service in one of the main restaurants, or opt for something more casual in the self-service buffet. There's also snacks and room service available too. And as the sun goes down, that's when the ship really comes to life. Every evening, you'll be spoilt for choice when it comes to entertainment, from Broadway-style shows in the lavish theatre to live music, comedy, karaoke, silent discos, as well as onboard nightclubs, allowing you to dance the night away. So, if you want more holiday for less dollar, make sure you choose to cruise. Yeah, it's definitely a, an amazing and, and a more and more popular holiday choice year on year yeah. on year. Particularly when we've had um, travel plans frustrated for a couple of years as well, that really has got the imagination going. Lots of people had lots of time to um, talk to, even family members, friends, people that you work with about cruise holidays they've had. Yeah. And actually, when you look at your ordinary regular holiday, which goes to one destination, stays there and then comes back, the variety is just massive. And listen, we are going to showcase three brilliant, brilliant offers. Um, and you're going to love every single one of them, I think. I mean, there'll be some real sparking of the imagination at the end of the show, I think. Oh, I think so. And yeah. this first one really will spark the imagination, particularly if you are Game of Thrones fans, mm -hmm. because we're going to be heading some, to some of the iconic um, sets of Game of Thrones on this itinerary. It's with Celebrity, and it's called Water Gardens and the Royal Palace. It's all-inclusive, and it's for 18 fabulous nights, leaving on the 11th of September. So you're going to fly from Sydney to Amsterdam and spend two nights in a fabulous hotel in Amsterdam. I mean, how exciting is it to visit the thriving and enigmatic city of Amsterdam you've Gorgeous. probably heard so much about it but actually being there walking the streets or shall we say cycling around the streets yeah you can it's going to flat as a pancake it is as it? flat as a pancake and it's a lovely time to go late summer as well um, as everyone will be out cycling the canal sitting out having picnics of course you can visit some world famous museums such as Anne Frank's house um, and the Van Gogh Museum as well and There's the Diamond Museum as well. The Diamond Museum, yeah. I've never even been, I must go there, mm. I love my diamonds. Yeah, it's a really incredible thing to do. Of course, there's a diamond district there as well, you yeah. might want to shop for some uh, diamonds. Now, after your two-night stay in Amsterdam, you're going to board the newest, most exciting ship in Celebrities Fleet, the Apex. It is the absolute pinnacle of cruising and it's 12 nights you're going to be on board, it's all inclusive. Now, drinks, tips, Wi-Fi, 
gratuities all included so you don't have to worry about budgeting that could be your blended drinks like your cocktails your premium coffees when you go to the coffee bar your bottles of water when you're heading into port your wine with dinner your spirits your beers these are all extra additional things you do not have to budget for oh, it amazing. is an exceptional ship and look martini bar right there now this is the grand plaza and it's kind of the focal hub and meeting point of the ship they do um, light shows with the chandeliers which are very cool yeah live entertainment in there as well which is really really good um celebrity is as it sounds to be honest with you it's about living that kind of celebrity lifestyle without yeah. having to dig that deep into your pockets yeah it's all about unashamed luxury as well because you can see the surroundings are beautiful i mean all of these spaces have been designed by some of the biggest names in design around yeah. the world and they've literally been given carte blanche to go for it and create something wow factor and they truly truly have it's absolutely beautiful and and it's the place where really you can just throw off the shackles of convention and just say, you know what, I'm just bathing in this luxury for the whole cruise. And you imagine like the top boutique hotels that you might have stayed in internationally or, or close to home, and it's that kind of vibe about it. It's a real indoor outdoor experience. Think Bondi, think Ibiza, Ibiza think Miami South Beach. That's the kind of feel you get when you're on the top deck in, um, you know, on the beautiful um, apex. And the thing is, as well, you've actually got that kind of chilled out beachside DJ music playing up there. The flow of the ship's also curated to um, make it feel so easy to walk around. You have this wonderful, um, you know, dynamic design uh, from one deck to the next and you've got beautiful sculpture. You have real plants out on deck as well as miniature infinity pools and jacuzzi tubs. I mean, it's really exciting. Now, for a little bit of entertainment in the evening, there's everything from fun activities like you see like archery there through to watching some of the best shows at sea i mean these are incredible you i mean you imagine the best west end broadway sydney entertainment district shows and then amplify it by a million percent and that's what you'll see now we're cruising out of the port for amsterdam we're heading straight into la rochelle in france uh, where you can visit the beautiful old port and the huge lemine marina as well on into lisbon where we'll experience an overnight in the portuguese capital if you can head to the time out market with a fight with 100 food stalls beautiful Gerono's monastery and you could also probably fit in a tour to cash guys in the royal palaces and uh, not too far away as well so brilliant time in Lisbon then we're on into Cadiz now Cadiz is the port for beautiful Seville where you can visit the iconic Alcazar and of course this is the setting of that water palace in Game of Thrones. Then we're on to Car Car Cartagena in Spain for amazing Roman ruins, including the amphitheater uh, to see there. It's an absolute must. On into the chilled vibe of Palma de Mallorca, uh, which is a beautiful island off the coast of Spain. And you might just want to stroll the harbor and grab a cocktail right there. Valletta beckons us next in beautiful Malta, where we can explore the UNESCO listed old town and perhaps take a cheeky little cruise around the Blue Grotto. Athens is up next. Now, uh, you're actually going to disembark the ship here, but not before. You're not heading home yet because you're going to spend two nights in your Athens hotel, all included, by the way, before flying home to Sydney. Now, this is the epicenter of the ancient Greek Empire. You can see the world famous Acropolis and the museum right there, the Parthenon, Temple of Zeus. Enjoy some of the best food on earth. And of course, with Australia having such a Greek influence, it might be familiar familiar to many of us, but it's lovely to go to the place where it all began in ancient Athens. Yeah, it's almost like where time began, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> it's bizarre. It's wonderful. What a lovely, varied holiday. You know, we were talking about before, a lot of people's regular holiday is um, flying maybe or going to one destination, staying in a hotel for a week or two weeks in the same place, doing a little bit of sightseeing, a little bit of attraction, visiting local to there, and then coming back. Where a holiday like this just gives you massive, huge variety. Um, and if you wanted to visit Europe, 
Europe. Well, I mean, you've got a little bit of a cherry pick of lots of different countries in Europe as well, which is wonderful. And of course, if you are a Game of Thrones fan, that time in Seville to see what is the royal palace in Games of, uh, Game of Thrones, which is actually the Alcazar in uh, Seville, is beautiful. I've been around it myself, and it really is quite stunning, let me tell you. It really takes your breath away, uh, all of the wonderful architecture and all of the tile work and everything. It really is incredible. Um, you're going to love this. And of course, at the end, you're drinking in more history, aren't you, with the Athens stay, which is superb. Now, the cruise on this, as we mentioned, is all inclusive as well. So you've got your classic drinks package while you're on board Celebrity Apex. You've also got your Wi-Fi, which is great for, you know, um, these trips that you're going on, these places that you're visiting, getting those photos uploaded, uploaded straight away to Facebook, Instagram, wherever you do your social media so that everybody else can see what a great time that you're having. Right, so this goes on the 11th of September and let's give you an amazing price tag and it really is superb. Again, if you think of what we've managed to squeeze in and package into this holiday, there's so much value there at $7,699 per person there. It's absolutely extraordinary. And remember, you have got a five-star modern luxury cruise right bang in the middle of this holiday. And the great thing is you can just sit back, relax and enjoy all these wonderful ports as you go along. Let's remind you of the details then on this offer because there is so much included. So obviously your flight from Sydney to Amsterdam, that's included. If you need flights um, from, to, from other uh, cities to Sydney, just let us know. You've got two nights in an Amsterdam hotel, so that's room only, so you can do with that time as you want to, which is really good for exploring Amsterdam. 12 nights on Celebrity Apex. Remember, you've got your drinks package, tips and Wi-Fi included. Cruising the Med, including France, an overnight in Portugal's capital, Lisbon, Seville in Spain to visit the Royal Palace from Game of Thrones, the Alcazar. Palm Palma de Mallorca and Charming Malta end the cruise in Athens and then you've got a two night stay in a hotel there. Again, room only for you to explore and the flight back from Sydney, all included in that price. And if you want to know more, if you've got any other questions, if you want to tweak those stays, again, you can as well, make them longer. Maybe at the end of that from Athens, you want to go on somewhere else before you come back from Sydney, uh, to Sydney, should I say. Uh, again, speak to the team on that one. 1300 306 134 is your toll free telephone number to call if we can help you with any of that. Let's go straight to our next adventure. We're switching up cruise lines now with Princess Cruises, which are a really, really popular choice. And this time we're going London, Scandi, France, Spain, and Italy. I'm not sure I forgot those all in the right place, but we're doing wow. all of them on this 28 night adventure. Starts on the 15th of October and we'll fly you straight from Sydney to London. Oh, London, London, London. London How incredible. calling. Yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> it, it, it really is calling. Yeah, it is. Uh, and the lovely thing about London is it's a walkable city. I mean, you can literally go from area to area. You might want to take the tube, the famed uh, underground system, and head to different places such as Buckingham Palace. You've got Covent Garden, Oxford Street for wonderful shopping, famed uh, Carnaby Street right there as well, the London Eye. I mean, it's a really exciting, vibrant, multi multicultural city and yeah, go, fantastic food too. Go to the palace and, and see if the king's at home. Oh, of course, yes, <laughs> there'll be the king there now. Listen, you have a two night stay, of course, before you join the lovely island princess for your princess voyage. And this is for 22 nights on board. How brilliant is that? That's a good amount of time, isn't it? Yeah, amazing. Now, Princess is really next level. When it comes to cruising, this is a firm favourite. They're multi-award winning. They're constantly winning awards for their food, for the entertainment, for everything. It is a cruise critic favourite. I mean, it is just everything you'd expect from classic and traditional cruising, but with a modern, fresh flair. So maybe, you haven't, maybe you've done a cruise, but it was 15, 20 years ago. I want you to take those preconceptions of what a cruise means and that idea and just throw them out the window. Oh, completely. Because cruises nowadays yeah. are much more uh, modern and exciting and the food is spectacular. It's not just about going to the dining room every night and sitting with the same people and just having the same meal. You have an, a multitude of dining options at your fingertips where you can dine from day to night with lovely fresh salads up in the buffet and beautiful breakfast through to 
to the most gorgeously curated Michelin star uh, chef designed meal, um, you know, th th these offers are all at your fingertips when you're on a, a princess cruise. Yeah, definitely. And talking about uh, times moving on, now everything you need to know about what's happening during your day it's in the palm of your hand via the app so you can see uh, the different restaurants that you can go to yeah. the activities that are going on um, it's all there now in the palm of your hand which is brilliant it makes cruising um, just one of the most vibrant and up-to-date holidays that you can ever take these days. It sure does. Now, we are cruising out of Southampton and a day at sea sees us into fabulous Hamburg in northern Germany, uh, which is crossed by hundreds of gorgeous canals and large areas of parkland. Great for shopping as well. And don't forget to grab your sausages. Our house Denmark's next. And this is um, known for its beautiful open air museums where you can learn all about the Vikings, in fact, and lovely botanical gardens. Copenhagen beckons us next, um, the amazing Danish capital. Don't forget to head to the Mermaid statue and Tivoli Gardens here. Gorgeous. Gothenburg in Sweden uh, is our next port of call where you can visit again beautiful natural uh, uh, gardens. You can see museums there also. Uh, then we're on into Oslo, the capital of Norway, which is the head of the Oslo Fjord. And you have got uh, the amazing ski jumping hill known from the Olympics up there. Uh, Rotterdam's next in the Netherlands and you have got the famed Rotterdam Zoo to visit and the central station and of course another taste of Holland is always a nice thing to enjoy on a, on, on a cruise itinerary. Brussels is next and uh, known for its gilded glamorous Art Nouveau buildings, its waffles and chocolate. Don't forget to pick up some amazing Belgian chocolate. La Havre, the port for Paris. Now you can visit the Eiffel Tower, the Arc de Triomphe, the Louvre Museum. These are all top picks when you're visiting Paris. Uh, then we're into Southampton and, and uh, you know lovely thing is you get another day you can maybe visit Bath which has the ancient Roman ruins it's not too far from Southampton. A day at Sea Seas is into La Coruña where you can visit the famed Roman lighthouse the Tower of Hercules which has sweeping coastal views beautiful. A day at sea then sees us into Gibraltar the famed Rock of Gibraltar, the Great Siege Tunnels, and the, of course, the Barbary Apes. Uh, very, very friendly little chaps, I hear. Cartagena's next in Spain, mm. and this is where you can see the incredible Roman amphitheatre, a lot of Roman history in this part of southern Spain. Murcia is the name of the region. Then we're on into Mallorca, Palma de Mallorca, known for its lovely uh, beach resorts, its sheltered coves, and its Moorish remains. Uh, spot shopping in El Bourne in the centre, perhaps. Palermo, Sicily, up next. And um, aside from the history, you might just want to stroll the streets, grab a gelato and drink in the fact you are in Italy. How amazing. Um, Salerno is our next port. And this is where you can visit the lost city of Pompeii, the Amalfi Coast and beautiful Capri, uh, where the rich and famous summer. Then we're finishing up in Rome and you've got two nights in Rome before you head home, which is absolutely brilliant. And a little bit more quiet and low key at this time of year in October, which is great, but you'll still get to enjoy um, the amazing history, the culture, the incredible food that Rome has to offer. And as legend says it, when you go to the Trevi Fountain, you put one coin in, you'll return to Rome. Two coins, you'll meet a handsome Italian. And three <laughs> coins, you'll marry the love of your life. So there we go. You can choose which one you want to make happen on this adventure. And I'm guessing if you've already got the love of lo your life with you, it's probably best to keep your coins in your pocket. Maybe, maybe. a good <laughs> idea. Yes, exactly. We don't want to cause any arguments on holiday. <laughs> There's the full itinerary of what we're doing then, flying to London, uh, two nights in a hotel there, then down in Southampton in the south of the UK. That's where we join Island Princess and look at all of the different places that we are cruising into. It's amazing, isn't it? It's a really, really a massive um, smorgasbord really isn't it of different destinations that you will love some maybe that you've never heard of before um, so it's always nice to discover new places you might know roughly where they are on the map but you think I've never heard of that place I want to go I want to explore and you'll come back with those amazing memories um, talking of amazing our price tag on this package is pretty amazing let me tell you considering that we have got the two stays here the one in London and the one in Rome at the end of the cruise and the cruise itself is so comprehensive look at this price tag I can't believe this includes remember your flights to and from Sydney look at that 
$6,199 each. Now, this is going to be the holiday of a lifetime. And this is one, let me talk to you about cruising for a second as well, because a lot of people wait and wait and wait until it's their 50th wedding anniversary or it's retirement time before you take a holiday like this. Do not wait. I've spoken to so many people over the years who have waited and waited and wished they hadn't, wished they'd started doing cruising a lot, lot sooner. Let's remind you of what we've got then in this offer. It's so, so good. Flying out from Sydney to London, you've got your two nights in a hotel there. And then down in Southampton, you join the Island Princess for 22 nights. It's a double cruise actually to Germany, Denmark, Sweden, Holland, Belgium, France, back to the UK, then to Rome via Spain, Gibraltar, Mallorca and Sicily. And then when we arrive in Rome at the end of the cruise, we've got two nights in a hotel there before the, uh, the um, flight back to Sydney. So it's a jam-packed holiday. And again, if you've got any questions whatsoever, you can always talk to our team, of course, on 1300 306 134. Oh my crikey. Listen. Oh, crikey. We're not finished yet. We no. are not finished yet. We've got something else to tempt you into right now for the 26th of October. It's ancient ruins and ancient civilizations. This is 27 nights, this package. This time, we're flying from Sydney to a fashion capital in Italy. Ah. Milan. Milano. Milano. Two nights. Beautiful. Now, you've got two nights here and actually, you can explore the financial and fashion capital of Italy and everything it has to offer, including gorgeous um, cathedrals with the grandiosity you'd expect from Italy through to some of the best shopping in the world and all these beautiful piazzas oh my word just imagine that gelato oh, i can amazing. taste it now two nights uh, there two nights there then we're hopping on a train yeah, aren't we yeah we are and let me tell you the music at the train station in milan <laughs> is incredible and you're training from milan to genoa oh, in italy uh, that gets us to the coast and we've got a night there in a hotel before we take our cruise genoa is beautiful actually a little bit more low-key in terms of italy but it's beautiful then it is cruise time I'm Absolutely. We're heading on board the MSC Opera for 21 fabulous nights. Oh, I think it's just, it makes sense being in this part of the world, being in Italy, to head on board an Italian vessel because it's everything you'd expect from the top restaurants in Rome, uh, in Florence, over in Milan, but translated onto your moving hotel, which goes from destination to destination. Um, you have, of course, the best pizza and pasta you can imagine, delicious homemade gelato and chocolates made on board every day, yeah. bread baked on board every day, your bed made every day, uh, entertainment at your fingertips you have an incredible spa on board the opera as well if you like to work out they do workout classes you know everything your top gyms back home could offer but at sea and then when it comes to dining the options are endless other than the Italian delicacies I mentioned you have Asian restaurants on board you have your favorite you know grab-and-go food if you want to go up and have a relaxed meal in the buffet you can do that and a fresh salad it's all happening and then there's shows of course to boot and they are that fabulous Vegas style production value on the opera. Now we're heading at sea to Syracuse as our first port Syracuse, Sicily, where you can visit Mount Etna and the um, astronomical cathedral of uh, Messina too. And then we're on to Catacolon where you can visit the ancient city of Olympia where the first Olympics were held uh, thousands of years ago. Very cool indeed. Off into Piraeus next, this is the gateway to Athens where you can visit all of those famous, um, of course, archae archaeological finds such as the Parthenon, which is amazing. And then we're into Rhodes and again, more incredible rich history dating back here century after century, including the Acropolis of Lindos, or maybe just head to the beach for a relaxing day. Uh, Sharm El Sheikh beckons us next, talking of the beach. Uh, this is known as Egypt's relaxing beach resort on the Red Sea. Um, and then for a little bit of sightseeing, you've got to go to the Valley of the Kings, the ancient burial ground for thousands of years for kings and queens of ancient Egypt, incredible. Uh, the next port is Sokna, and this is where you can actually visit the pyramids of Cairo. It's not too far away. You can go on a Nile River cruise there or head to the citadel. Uh, Jeddah next in Saudi Arabia, where you can do a little spot of shopping. You might want to have a nice relaxing day actually after all of that sightseeing in your previous ports. We're into Muscat Oman, where um, snorkeling is amazing, and you can also do a, a little June safari out there too, uh, or head to 
to some of the amazing mosques. A day at sea sees us into Abu Dhabi, where you can visit, if you love your fast cars, Ferrari World. I know you'd be right there, Derek, wouldn't Definitely. you? Definitely. Um, and amazing mosques again in this, in this amazing uh, Arabian capital. We're disembarking in Dubai, where uh, you'll spend a night in a Dubai hotel before we flow, fly you home to Sydney. Now, the lovely thing about this is, again, we're closer to home here, finishing up. So flying over to start your adventure, of course, over in Europe, and then you're close to home finishing up. You can head up to the top of the Palm Jumeirah or Burj Khalifa, do a spot of tax and duty-free shopping in the Mall of the Emirates or the Mall of Dubai. That's what I'd be thinking. Or indeed, have that incredible Bedouin experience out in the desert. The choice is yours on offer. Gosh, it's so, so taxing to choose in this oh show word. isn't it i think what you're going to have to do is uh, either rewind and watch the show again watch it on our youtube channel there uh, all the shows are there and then just put the maps side by side and decide which one that you're actually going to do because this is such a journey of discovery this one um, again if you're a culture vulture these are great experiences because you're dipping in and out of these places which are steeped in history um, but again you know you, the world is your oyster that's the great thing about travel about flying, about cruising, is, is literally the world is in the palm of your hand. Right, 26th of October for this one. It's an amazing, oh gosh, actually you need to see the number that I have just been told that this is going to be. Look at that. I can't believe everything we've just discussed, Joe, is coming in at that price there. $4,599 each. Oh my crikey. Right, let me just remind you what's packed into that £4,599. Your flight from Sydney to Milan in Italy, that's included. Two nights in a hotel there, that's included. It's room only in the hotel, so you can explore as you, as you wish. Then you take the train from Milan to Genoa, and that gets you to the coast. You've got a night in a hotel there before we start that 21 nights of cruising on MSC, on MSC Opera. To Dubai, we're sailing via Italy and Greece through the Suez Canal to Egypt, Oman and Abu Dhabi to Dubai. You'll end the cruise here, but you'll stay for a night in a hotel that's included in your package, plus, of course, the flight back to Sydney. All of that right now for later this year. Perfect time to get away, isn't it, as well? Lovely, lovely, lovely. I, honestly, I think that price tag, it doesn't feel like enough, Joe, does it? That does not make any sense, Derek. I know, I'm just it's crazy, trying to get my it? head around it. And, and you get to see so much. And this is what you want to do. You're heading over to Europe, which is, of course, far afield from Australia. It just makes sense to, to see as much as you possibly can. And this is giving you so much value for your dollar. It is ridiculous. It is crazy, honestly. Um, I've been, well, Joe, you've worked in cruise for many, many years, so you've got a massive knowledge of the world and cruise lines yeah. and also prices, and you love travelling full yeah. stop. I've been talking on TV about cruise holidays and their prices for the best part of 15 years, and let me tell you, that is an offer that... You know, honestly, That's a month. that is a month away. It's really good. And that right there could easily just be a trip over to Bali if you stayed in an expensive resort, yeah, couldn't yeah. it? And look how much more value you're getting. And of variety. Course. Variety. Yeah. And let's not forget when you're on a, on a ship, your meals are included, your entertainment's included, your housekeeping mm. is included. Yeah. All of these things you do not have to pay extra for, they're included, they're built into your cruise fare. And you don't it's have phenomenal. to do them, yes. Indeed, you don't have to lift a finger, all the cooking, the cleaning, the, you know, you just breathe in and out, the rest of the cruise happens oh, yeah. around you. It's amazing. Listen, um, our time has come to an end on this show, but thank you so much for being there. We are here on Gecko every single day, so check out the guide and check when we're back, because we've got different shows all the time with lots more offers. Offers. They're all on our YouTube channel as well. So you can go to YouTube right now and just search for Cruise Away Australia and you will find all the shows there as well. Listen, this is the place to come for nothing but good news. So I hope we get to see you again very, very good soon. Good vibes only. Absolutely. We'll Watch help you, you to cruise away. See you soon.